Today I am sharing a day of homemaking with my three littles, but with a twist of some decluttering and organizing, finding little snippets of time in my day to do some cleaning, decluttering, and organizing of my home. Well, good morning, friends. It is January when you're seeing this. So with that said, there's something in the air about decluttering and organizing. So I am going to bring you along today as I do a few small five to 10 minute declutters of a junk drawer, one cupboard in the kitchen, maybe a few other places in my home that I just feel like are a little overbearing, need a good clean out. You know, it might take maybe 20 minutes, but it'll be a quick clean out of those areas. I'll still do my regular life as well, but I just want to encourage you to find those snippets of time, whatever window you have to get some of that decluttering and organizing done. Get motivated to do what you can and hopefully you just enjoy coming along on this January day. All right, so we're down in our basement where I have a little nook for kids playing. And Mom. I'm gonna do a little decluttering of some of this stuff. The kids are down here playing as well. And so just a few things that I know they don't play with anymore or that we really don't need. First off, we need to get some good old fashioned magic eraser out here and clean out this crayon. there's part of me that wants to just like go through and declutter all my kids' toys and a lot of my stuff too and just be like all right we're starting fresh but I know that's not always the best thing to do so um I asked my kids what puzzle they want to get rid of got one of those we don't need extra storage containers they like putting things in bags and carrying them around like okay I can keep those you know um I did a declutter before the holidays, but this is probably gonna be a little bit more like crack the whip, let's get rid of a few more things. And this little bit that I just did took me two minutes, honestly. The magic eraser took me a little bit longer than the decluttering part. All right, the next location I'm going to do a quick declutter of is my junk drawer here. So I know a lot of kitchens do have junk drawers. I try to keep it organized, I have a utensil holder in there to organize things in there but if i don't declutter often other things get put in there so that's what has happened and i'm hoping this takes like five ten minutes to do i did declutter actually um like three four months ago because the drawer came out and fell and spilled out so it did get decluttered then but i'm gonna go through check what pencils don't work and pens we use a lot of those with preschool and my four and a half year old loves writing right now so those get burned through quick. But I'm going to just declutter some of that and reorganize it, wipe it out, and um, just make it nicer to see what's actually in there. As you could see from when I first opened the drawer, there were just a few things that were laid on top of other things that didn't need to be there that were in the wrong locations. And so I'm just pulling everything out other than the pens and pencils. I did take a few out that I knew were out of lead or that didn't work and just gave a few spots a good wipe down because when you declutter things, you might as well wipe it out especially if it's a drawer that's what i think at least not always i guess do i wipe things down if it's a large object declutter if that makes sense but like a drawer like this definitely wipe it down put things back in their right location and it just looks so much better you will see um after just to have it streamlined i do have little labels in each of my drawers like where it says mail tape measuring tape notepads and i just think that just helps especially for kids as they get older to be able to put everything back where it belongs and spouses too for that matter so that took five minutes i just have some garbage to throw away um, move some of these pencils and a couple of them can get tossed 
move some string. I'm gonna donate these because I have other scissors. This was from Christmas stuff, so I'll move that down. Um, put my button somewhere else, gift receipts. I'm gonna move to a different location to save to see if we need to keep things. And my cords, I'm gonna move somewhere else. And actually, I don't even think this block works. So I probably will just get rid of it because why keep something if it doesn't work, right? Okay, while I'm here, my junk drawer was here. That was nice to get done. This is my mugs, essential oils, tea, pills, supplements type of cupboard. So I'm gonna take care of that. It shouldn't take too long. Um, sometimes I just add extra things in there, like mugs that I got extra of, or I'm gonna put my Christmas one down in my tote, um, and then maybe put a few other things somewhere else. I don't drink from this really very often and it's kind of in the way so maybe i'll just tuck that away it was special because it was my grandma she had like 200 teacups and platters and it's may which is my birthday so i got that from her collection but maybe i should drink from it i'm gonna keep it up here but just other things that i need to move rearrange um declutter if i know i won't use it i feel like i declutter this cupboard at least once or twice a year. It just seems to be a catch-all for things we use often. It also has some of my natural medicinal um, items in there, so extra things get added in this time of year, of course. <laughs> take very long um i forgot i had this stevia in here from like two years ago i don't use powdered stevia i use like stevia drops in my coffee but i think i'm gonna dump all that and i can have that jar back um just like some coffee we were gifted i might donate it to our food pantry because i don't use this type of stuff um and then like a broken tea ball broken pill holder broken things why save it if it's broken and now we're gonna color a little bit so got a couple areas decluttered and it took five to ten minutes that is all and reorganized some of my essential oils like we did yesterday where i hand you the one two three four should we do that after we and we could even put a puzzle together puzzle Are we all following? Yeah. <laughs> so there's something great about being outside. Fresh air. Do you like it out here? Yeah. It's cool and crisp. It kind of just refreshes your mind, declutters whatever is clogged up in there. So kind of just a good declutter of our mind um, before we have lunch and nap time and just for life in general. I love getting outside on a day-to-day -day basis whether it be sunny, snowy, rainy, whatever it is. I just think it's so good for all of us to get outside, even when it's a little chilly, a little wet, um, bring everybody out no matter what. Well, lunch is done, kids are resting in quiet time, and so I actually need to take care of my church books. I am our church's treasure, and it is that time of year where end of the year stuff all has to be wrapped up, get the annual report done, and so that's a goal for next year. I need to stay on top of that a little bit better. Um, it's hard when we are, my husband and I, involved in a lot for the church. And so I'm our women's group president and our church treasurer. So I had two annual reports to write for women's group and the treasurer report. And so treasurer stuff, there's a lot of last minute, like end of the year um, checks and things that need to be balanced and double checked. And so I need to do a little bit of that so that 
that can get in to the person who needs to write up our whole annual report book. So just a goal for next year for me with that would be to stay on top of it and not <laughs> make it so it's all last minute. It's not always that I do that. I'm like, I will update it every quarter for sure so people can have their budget meetings and the leaders can check it all out. But right now it's kind of during like the holiday season, I definitely push it back and wait. So I need to work on that a little bit. Then I think the next decluttering I need to do is my spice cabinet because I've been out of a few spices for a while and I don't realize it or I think I still have it. And it also has just a lot of um, spice crumbs all over or like the little grounds all over in the cabinet. So treasure stuff first, the things I don't probably want to work on as much and then the organizing and decluttering. Okay, so treasury stuff is done for now. It is um, halfway through nap time potentially a little bit shorter than that, but I can always do this type of stuff when kiddos are awake. I am going to open up my cupboard and truly it looks fine. Like it looks okay. It's relatively organized, a little crowded on this shelf here because I had extra spices like pumpkin pie spice, all spice, uh, spices I used for holiday things. But if I zoom even closer, which I'll bring you over here, you will see all the extra um, spices and salt and seasonings on the cupboard bottoms. So I need to take it all out, wipe it down, write down a list of what I need to reorder or go buy and what I no longer need. So this one's gonna take probably a little bit longer than five to 10 minutes, but who knows, it may not. I'm also watching um, some Hillary's videos at Old World Home and I just started an Elliot Homestead um, recap video and what their life is looking like for 2024. Great way to motivate myself is to watch other people too. All right, as you can see, there's just some herbs and spices on the bottom that need wiped down. And I do have to say the cupboard itself probably needs another good painting, but this is not the time and place for that. I am just here to declutter and wipe it out and buy new things that need to be restocked to dump old spices that are no longer there and just make it a streamline um, spice cabinet that I can use. And by the way, the wooden box is upside down that I found at a garage sale. So just using items I already had and I think it makes it easier. So it's like a double layer shelf and the jars are from Amazon. So I can link them for you or I think they're in my Amazon store if you're interested in those as well. <laughs> Above my microwave is my extra spice container. So I have extra spices in there and extra instant yeast packets and like my extra salt, baking soda, things like that. Okay, cabinets are wiped out or this cupboard is wiped out and I see some that I need to restock. I dumped some because like my red pepper flakes, for instance, my husband said had no spice. So they must have been old and I see I have um, just a local brand of them. It definitely pays to have quality spices. So I need to just get some new of those. I have some spices on the counter here that I need to refill and put back up there. And I will be set for spices all restocked, except the ones I need to buy. Cabinet cleaned out for the next several months, which was so nice to have. And tossing a few that are not tasting great or got old. I can wipe my fingers on here and nothing so nice and I did get rid of a few um, spices that I no longer use like I said but 
much better. I couldn't go out without my latte. Some days I have an Americano in the afternoon. Some days I have a decaf with some heavy cream. Today is a single shot latte. Um, we're gonna be gone for the next two days, so I was trying to use up some of our raw milk we had. But I have some food in the crock pot, some bologna and homemade sauerkraut. And then I'll do some garden potatoes fried up. And we're gonna head outside again. All right, we went outside, went to my husband's, walked out there, came back with it all misty. Um, it's about 5.15, and so I'm pushing it on supper here. But I just love garden potatoes, how unique they are. This looks like something off of like Veggie Tales or something. <laughs> but um, cut those up, get fried potatoes, bologna, sauerkraut. I'm making the girls some hot chocolate right now too. So that five o'clock hour is just a whirlwind here. And then I need to feed the little guy as well. So it was nice to get some fresh air and get the walk, but when it's missing, it was chilly. So a little hot chocolate will warm them up. Just him and obey him when they were hungry. God made this guy rain with food, bread coming down from heaven. What is it? They asked each other. They didn't know, so they called it, what is it? Which of course is a very good name for something when we don't know what it is. Well, the kiddos are down after being bathed, some Bible reading time, some coloring with my oldest and reading some more stories. And so I'm going to enjoy my tea and the lights of my tree that are still up because <laughs> I am enjoying it. And just the glow of all my greenery and lights. Supper was done and my husband had to go to a church meeting. So he'll be back later this evening. But I'm going to enjoy some downtime and probably make a list of some more things I want to accomplish for this year. And decluttering is definitely one of them and reorganizing just to streamline my home. You know, I think that's important for us as homemakers is to make things efficient and well-functioning. And when you can declutter and organize, that just makes all the difference. So I hope you enjoyed this day with me with some little snippets of decluttering and reorganizing and hope you're just encouraged that you can take time in your day to do that as well. But I will call it a night and I will talk with you in my next video.